Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today I'm going to show you lightings or lighting accessories in ArchiCAD. From the left side of the window we have more options here. And you will notice that we have a lamp object. By clicking that we'll activate that and in the settings we will see more options. As you can realize we are under the general light sources. They are used to rendering elements in native ArchiCAD render. I mean Cine Render. In addition to that they are used to under Enscape Rendering Engine. It doesn't have its own lighting sources. They are using these general light sources in ArchiCAD. For instance, IUS lights, parallel, spotlights, sun objects and window lights. Actually we are not using window lights in Enscape. For this reason these are outdated but we have interior lamps here and also street lamps. When we are creating landscapes or roads, vegetation, something like that, we can use that. And by clicking that, we will see more options right here. We have main intensity, which we are not going to use because I assume that you are not going to use Arcade Render Engine. We are going to use Steam Motion or something else. These are rendering parameters. And if we go next, now we can see our surface options. And here the important thing is we have 3D detail. We have resolution here. For instance, it's 10. Let's click OK. And place here. Go to the 3D window. And this is what we get. And if we just zoom in, we will see some triangles. But in detailing renders, you don't want to see them. In the options, we can change this resolution. For instance, I prefer using this multiplies 2 means 32. Let's click OK. And we will see smoother curve here. And it will look nicer in our renders. Of course, we have more options here. But for now, we are not going to use them. In addition to that, some objects have their separate objects. What does it mean in the interior lamps? Wow, we have lots of interior lamps here, but these are you see are not totals of the objects. For instance, if we click ceiling lamps, we will see more options, design choices. And of course, if we select one of them, we can change their settings as before. My favorite is this recessed spot, by the way. I use this very much. And as for the wall lamps, we have more options too, but they are still the same. Let's place one of them. For instance, this type 8. We have blue purple points too. By dragging and drop, as you can see, we can change the model with any shape we want. Let's duplicate once more and try something else. Yeah, it's the same. As you can see, it's very easy. And you can realize that the curve has not enough resolution. So we can increase the resolution to 64. There we go. We have inspected ArchiCAD own lamps. But in addition to this, I'm going to show you how to create hidden lights. What does it mean? For instance, we have a blank room here. Let's create a simple room. Something like this. Click the sheets and create a basic rectangular room. Now I'm going to create a floor for that. Like this. And Ctrl plus C. Let's go to first floor paste here and in the 3d window we have something like this i'm going to change the material to white okay paint gloss white and floor will be wood let's click okay there we go i want to create a window here also seal to 
equal base and again yeah maybe we can change the, its to storefront this one and i want to change some dimensions yeah bottom real width will be 50 millimeters Yeah, okay. Let's change the width to 3 meters. There we go. Once we have this, I'm going to create here ceiling island design. Island ceiling design. What does it mean? It's going to be hole here and I'm going to give inner lights inside the, this island. And there will be height differences. Okay, let's create it. I click the ceiling and hit copy and duplicate to its downside. By the way, I want to change the working system, working units to centimeter. Okay, okay. Now select on floor plan. Now I'm going to click the corner and click the this subtract from polygon let's hit the space but before that in the control box i'm going to change the the controlling option to offset and hit the space click and as you can see we can create an offset inside the ceiling let's make something 200 and hit ok Yeah, there we go. We will see something like this and I'm going to change the parameters materials to right also. Maybe it's going to be a good decide to increase the window width according to the ceiling for the interior design purpose and I can change the thickness of the ceiling like this and now we have a empty space between the ceiling and the suspended ceiling okay now in the render i want to give lights to this direction but with an rectangular shape but in the rendering for instance team motion is a bit hard to cope with that but we have a rectangular shape maybe it can be easy using lighting elements in the motion. We would have a curved shape for the ceiling. For instance, let's change this edge to a curve. Let's click that edge and curve edge. And let's make something like this. Yeah, this way. But I want this to with the opposing direction I want to see the middle point it's half but I'm going to use between nodes yeah there we go okay Since it was a curve shape, we cannot give a true lighting. In order to solve this problem, we are going to use profile. From the profile manager, we are going to create a new profile type. Click the new and we have canvas screen here. I'm going to create a circle onto that. For the radius, for instance, we can use two centimeters. I don't know. Let's try and we are going to fill this one hit the space and create our profile and now we are going to change its material to override surface i'm gonna use glass lamp or we can create ours we are going to use with the beam and click the save now we are going to go to the first story click the beam tool select our new profile 
hit the space and click here. Again, click the profile and make some offsets by clicking any edge or corner. A little inside. Okay. In the 3D window, what we have, we have nothing because it's on the ceiling. Maybe we can use some section. Let's just right click and open with current view settings. Group selection is off. And place here. There we go. By the way, if you don't want to see the directly the shape, we can change the thickness of the ceiling to five centimeters maybe or more and move downside. I don't know, maybe five centimeters, five more. Okay, now I'm going to create a wall for that. So we go to first story, click the wall. And wall thickness will be 3 or 2. The thickness will be 10 centimeters. So home story will be stay at the same. And we click the not links. And it's going to be 10. And material will be the same with the ceiling. Which is paint titanium white. And click OK. Hit the space and click inside. Okay, let's go to the section and this is what we get. Group selection is off, move and align them. Now we won't see the lightning element. It's really hidden and it's under the construction standards. There we go. Alright, I have copied a parametric molding profile which we have created in the previous tutorials. I'm going to create a link for the video to see how to create something like this. Yeah, this one. This is a parametric profile. And you can change the this edge type and you can create different shapes. shapes. And for this, I'm going to use for the our ceiling design. Let's click the space and place in the section. Where is that? Yeah, here. Let's give this two meters and in the section, we can fix its position under the suspend ceiling or maybe we can use this also for the island now i'm going to change the direction of the wall let's hit the key and click the blue edge offset and match with the R molding by the way the material is titanium white titanium white now we have another base here. I'm going to fulfill with the ceiling too. Let's duplicate from this point to towards to this point and offset again. Let's offset once more. Yeah, it's okay now. We have full design ceiling now. And we have our hidden light. And we can rid of the unnecessary part and make some render. All right, I have imported our model to team motion. And as you can see, we are in the native render. But if we switch to pet tracing, 
we will see something like this noisy screen and it's a bit slower and I want to increase the motion so I'm going to switch the plane speed in order to do that I'm I hit the tree now we are going to give some materials by the way I have placed some seeding lights for those as you can see we are waiting but we can switch back and from the material under the materials we have neons here and I'm gonna drag and drop a neon material for our spots also I'm gonna give another neon material for our hidden lights yeah I mean we cannot see anything but if we switch to pet tracing we will see this Maybe it will be a good idea to change the glow unit. One maybe. For this one also. Alright, this is how you can create lights in ArcCAD and how to render in 3 motion. It's very basic and simple. I hope you have learned something new and enjoy with the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and support the channel. I'm going to create similar tutorials for you, do not miss them out. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.